everybody, it's your online singing coach back with a new reaction today. We're back with Angelina Jordan today. This is my third reaction to Angelina and I'm going a little bit out of order. I'm, I mentioned last time that I had some other songs kind of earmarked to check out next, but shout out to HR who let me know in the comments that Angelina has a new release that just came out, Suspicious Minds by Elvis Presley. So I got excited about that. I'm like, oh, I want to watch that. And I thought, well, let's watch this together. Let's do a reaction. And then we'll get back on we'll get back on to my other list of songs to cover by Angelina. So today it's Suspicious Minds by Elvis Presley. Let's hear Angelina's interpretation. My notepad ready just in case. Ooh, cool with the chandeliers. Oh, it's like a music video, okay. <laughs> so far sounds very different from the Elvis version. It was 
an incredible interpretation and her tone so mature and rich and warm. It was very, very, very different from the Elvis Presley version. It, 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 it sounded incredibly contemporary. It sounded soulful. It sounded melancholy. There were so many emotions in this song. I was feeling it. I was feeling it. Um, the only thing I don't get is the symbolism. I saw lots of symbolism in there. The chandeliers, the mirrors, the colors, the, the girls in white, she's wearing black. There's a red guitar. The guy at the piano is wearing red, some red pops of color. But what does it mean? What, what were the little girls in white representing? Because I was just trying to figure out the symbolism. What's the story? See, I, I'm a vocal coach, I, you know, I, I don't always get like the the visual artistic stuff, but I feel like there's a purpose for it that I'm missing. So give me your theories on that. Now I totally need to go back. This might be my favorite Angelina vocal so far. That is what Angelina is a queen at, is the interpretation. She's a queen at interpreting. For me, this was so much more rewarding than the Adele one. It just created such an emotional reaction for me that it's like, how does she do that? I mean, it's it's her delivery, it's her tone, it's her interpretation. It's those three elements that really are magical for me with Angelina. So let's go back, check it out one more time. Maybe pause a bit here and there to dig into some spots a little bit more. It's like an old, forgotten, Oh yeah, I, was, I noticed too, she walked in with the shoes, I'm like, what? Angelina's gonna wear shoes. But did you notice? I'm sure you did. Once she started singing, those shoes were off. So yeah, she's taking out the, the mirrors. What does that mean? again that very first oh I'm not even gonna try to demonstrate it because I will never get that richness in my voice that she has but ah oh, that big entrance that warm entrance and then a little embellishment already on that very first phrase oh little love survive or whatever it was she's like here I am she just gave us a hug with her voice she's like Welcome. That's the way I felt with that with that first phrase. Let's hear it again. Oh, little love survive. Woo! Even on the love, did you hear that little crack at the end of that? Little love survive. Oh my gosh. It's those subtle things that create such artistry instead of just little love survive. But that love that's feeling that word amazing i draw the tears from your eyes mm. just wow. don't let a good thing die when honey you know i've never lied to yes. you mm. oh my gosh oh i love it i love this intro yeah i just had to hit pause because I was like, where even is this section in, in the Elvis Presley version? I couldn't remember. And it's it's the bridge. It's the middle section where it's slowed down. I love that she started the song with this section. Because again, I feel like just going back and listening to the Elvis version, it is filled with emotion, that section of the song. Ache, it's filled with ache. It's coming in strong with emotion. And it's it's very powerful. So very, very awesome arrangement move there. Okay, now where were we, Angelina? We can go on together with suspicious minds And we can build our dreams on suspicious minds If an old friend I know Stops by to say hello What I still 
section and twice the beginning and the end this song honestly I answer your question it's about 242 Alexa stop Literally. I was gonna say like I'm in love with her voice even more I'm so excited to see where Angelina's gonna go like she has this amazing fan base here on YouTube thank you for being such an awesome community for me too the Angelina fans are awesome Whew. Angelina, that was the most powerful one yet. Again, with her demeanor, she's always so relaxed. She's so chill. She never seems like she's trying too hard. Sometimes I really get into like tons of passion and emotion, but this is Angelina. She always stays true to who she is. And she's always been chill, like ever since, I've, since I saw the Bohemian Rhapsody. She's just about the song. She's not about fireworks, like in terms of spectacle in terms of um, dramatic delivery or anything like that. She's just connected with the music and, and letting that come through her with her amazing voice. So Angelina, girlfriend, keep doing you and I look forward to continuing the Angelina journey. So I hope you enjoyed watching with this with me. If you did, please be sure to hit subscribe. Looking forward to the next one. See you next time. Yo, S, C, E.